Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you all about the latest from Vader, Solitude and Madness, out May 1st on Nuclear Blast. The album has 11 tracks, 30 minutes in length, and this is the band's 16 full length album. First thing I have to say is that this album proves that quality surpasses quantity. With 30 minutes, you could feel like perhaps the album is a little bit short, that it should be a little bit longer. The solution for that is very simple. You play it on loop. You're gonna get one full hour of Vader, and that is the best way to get more out of this record because quality-wise, the 30 minutes offer you plenty, plenty of quality, really proving the point that quality surpasses quantity, at least in my opinion. This is a thrash-infused death metal album that has two speeds, fast and faster, and it has two ways, heavy and heavier. That is the overall sound, the overall feel, uh, the overall presence that this record has to offer. Very linear in its structure and approach, no fluctuations whatsoever. This is not a record that offers you peaks and valleys to give you that feeling of a roller coaster ride. It's very consistent and very cohesive from start to end. What you get with the first song is pretty much what you're going to get all the way throughout towards until you get to the end of the record. Sure, there are some fluctuations within the tracks themselves in terms of how many solos they have, the type of solo that they put together, uh, where the solos are, are placed in the tracks, some changes as far as the guitar riffs and the melodies are concerned, uh, addition of, of backing vocals and some layers to the vocal tracks. All, all of these things happen within the songs, but they're so minimal that they really don't take anything away from the overall feel of the record and for all, from the overall brutality and aggression that this album has to offer. So when you look at the songs individually, you start to see some changes and you start to see some differences between them. But when you look at the overall album, the overall sound that the record has is extremely cohesive and direct from beginning all the way to the end with a little bit of that uh, old school, perhaps more than just a little bit, with that old school feel, uh, one foot in the past this album has and one foot in the present taking steps towards the future that is the overall sound on this record. As far as the guitars are concerned, I really like what they did with the guitars overall. Exceptional guitar work on this uh, on this record. Really a clinic in, in all aspects. Brutal riffs, great killer melodies, uh, amazing solos, really out of this world solos that really added something to the tracks. Not just having a solo for the sake of having a solo, but really creating solos that bring life into the songs and then the mixture of genres the mixture of flavor here with death metal thrash metal and even some black metal style riffs being infused into the songs to really create a very dynamic sound a very powerful sound very heavy very brutal very fast moving overall guitar sound so from a guitarist perspective this album has almost a little bit of everything that you would want on a record like this it just really is very dynamic in that from that approach is very dynamic from the sound perspective but overall doesn't take anything from the fluidity that the record has the drums are the perfect partner to the way the guitars sound on this record absolutely powerful direct dynamic strong knowing when they need to take a step back to allow the guitars and the vocals to take more of a main presence within the tracks knowing when they have to increase the brutality and the heaviness in order to, to give a little bit more of a backbone to the track to give a little bit more presence to the overall sound on the songs so i feel like while the guitars perhaps on this record the guitars are the driver behind the steering wheel the drums are definitely the co-pilot kind of dictating uh, where the guitar should go or at least where the song should go really giving a strong backbone and a strong presence the vocals are very consistent throughout this record uh, th there is a sense of continuity with the vocals there is not much fluctuation they did use a little bit of layering a little bit of backing vocals in some songs in my opinion they did it sporadically uh, and not enough to create really in you know incredible changes or diversity but they just did it enough in order to bring those songs to life and to give a little bit more presence a little bit more texture and in some songs gave a little bit more volume whatever you were losing as far as the drums and guitars as far as the heaviness on the drums and guitars are concerned you were gaining on the vocal side by adding a little bit more volume a little bit more strength just by having a few layers to the to the overall vocal track on the record so i really like what they did there they didn't change too much they didn't try too much they didn't go um, outside of the beaten path if you will they just added a few flares here and there not a lot but just enough to really create a few dynamic changes within certain tracks on the record overall i was expecting a solid album i was not expecting an exceptional record this album is phenomenal on all fronts 
really compact, really concise, like I said, great guitar work, great drums, consistent vocals from beginning to end, creating an album that's just very powerful, very heavy, uh, brutal at times, but still very dynamic in terms of the, the way the guitar sound without taking anything away, without changing the overall dynamic of the album. Very important. You can change the riffs, you can change the style, you can change the approach, but overall you wanna stay consistent, you wanna stay together, you wanna stay cohesive, in an album that's only 30 minutes long, that is extremely important. There is really no room for fluctuations. This album is just that, a strong record, in my opinion, an exceptional record from top to bottom. As far as songs are concerned, I wanna start off with Shock and Awe because that's pretty much the feeling that I had when I listened to this album was Shock and Awe and that's the opening track on the album. A brutal opening track, to me, perhaps the best way to start off the record with this song, there's a sense of, of heaviness and powerful uh, uh, that comes towards you with this song. It has the great build up to it. Uh, it has a little bit of a black metal darkened riff to the way the song sounds. I like that change. I like that nuance that it gives to the track. The drums are absolutely powerful. They're blistering. They are one of the backbones with the guitars of this song. But the, in my opinion, the drums on this specific track kind of surpass it and they give a sense of continuity. They give a sense of strength to the way this track sounds. The solo is super melodic. It breaks away from the overall feel of the song. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a little bit more of a darkened solo, if you will, that would go more with the overall mood, with the overall atmosphere of the song. To go with a solo that has a lot of melody, that has a lot of brightness, really breaks away from the track. But then when you look at the song, it works. It gives a, a dynamic change to the song, it gives a different look to the song, and it really magnetizes and increases the value of the overall experience of this track. Next, Emptiness. Uh, it opens up with a guitar solo. Very old school approach, I really like that. Like I said, this is an album that has a foot in the past, a foot in the present, and is taking steps towards the future. So this song is, is perhaps proof of that. Starting off with a guitar solo, I like that old school, more dramatic feel to the way the song starts. Has a great thrash riff that follows, uh, uh, that just comes right after that guitar solo. It's like it continues right after it, and it's absolutely delicious. That thrash guitar riff, just magnetizes, it just electrifies this whole song. The vocals really match the riff as far as heaviness, as far as presence is concerned. And, and the, the two of them really collaborate throughout the strike in order to give this the song this, this really forward momentum, this forward fluid motion to the song. The drums add heaviness on the track, some areas more than others. Uh, they really are able to adjust the, the heaviness of the drums to the right portion of the song to not take away anything from that incredible guitar riff and to not take anything away from the vocals. It really allows the song to morph into a song that goes from thrash metal into death metal uh, and the drums are perhaps the usher that takes you from that more thrash, thrash style sound into a more death metal approach. I really like that. You get more of that of that pungent strength coming at you in the chorus. So it's a song that has the verses built, constructed more as a thrash metal song. But then as you start to move in towards the chorus of the track, it becomes more of a death metal track. And to me, like I said, the drums are the usher that move you from one and into the other. Amazing solos. There's two more solos that come towards the end of the track. Absolutely magnificent. In this case, the solos really added to what the song already had. They took a little bit of the, of the melody, a little bit of the overall atmosphere that the song had, had, specifically more so from the thrash metal side of the track, and then they just exploded onto the song, uh, one feeding off of the other, adding a lot of melody, adding a lot of great sound to, to this song. Then the song closes off on more of a heavy note, it becomes slower, it's not, it, not that the song is fast, this is not a fast tempo track, but it becomes a little bit slower after the solos, it becomes heavier, slower, more of a drag out feel, and I really like that nuance. The song really goes through an internal roller coaster. While I said before, the album doesn't really offer you a roller coaster ride, this song does because in the way it's constructed, mixing death metal with thrash metal to perfection, moving in from verses into choruses, and then closing off on a very heavy note. Last but not least, Dancing in the Slaughterhouse, a song that builds up from the start. This is a song that almost feels like the volume is increasing as the song is, pro is progressing. I, I really like it, it gains power, it gains speed, it gains heaviness. Uh, the vocals in this song is one of the particular elements because they added some vocal layers to the track and in, them, in my opinion added texture and it added volume. 
it works out really well. It almost works as a choir. It works almost like uh, a hymn. Uh, it has an anthem vibe to it, a song that in my opinion in a live setting would work extremely well because of those extra vocals to it. It, it just adds a sense of echo, it adds a sense of presence to the original vocals, to the to the main vocal line of the song. And I like that feel, it's, it's different. It adds something, it adds a little bit of darkness at the same time. So I like the overall aspect of the vocals. To me, this is a song that really is uh, created around the way the vocals are put together in the track. They become the main focus of this song. Uh, it works well with the style, it works well with the overall approach. The solos are short. There's two solos, they're short, but to me they work well in this song because this is also not a very long song, so you don't really have a lot of room in order to put these really long, you know, intricate solos. You really need some blasts of energy, some blasts of melody, some blasts of light to come in into the overall darkness that this track has. And it feels really dark. And in my opinion, that darkness really comes from those vocal layers from on the in the way that they use the vocals in the track. So having two solos that come in and they blast some light into the middle of the song works extremely well. It changes the dynamic very slightly and allows the song to regain energy towards the closing of the track. So overall, really well constructed track, as is the whole album, really well put together. This is it guys, this is Vader with Solitude and Madness, once again out May 1st on Nuclear Blast. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles, use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care guys.